Hey guys, it's Grim again, and today we're going to build a Minecraft Bedrock server. Um, so there's a lot to tell about Minecraft on the uh, on the Synology and, and getting up a server because, and I've been I've been struggling for a couple of days, uh, trying to find the right image uh, which could run without any hassle on the uh, Synology station. Now, first, let's start at the beginning. Um, I'm uh, beginning. I was trying with Hex Parrot, um, and that's a known version of the uh, Minecraft server. But um, I found out that the uh, uh, if you play like Minecraft on an on an Android device or on my phone uh, for my kids on their phones, that you can't connect with um, with the normal. Um, with the normal servers. Uh, so basically, then I found out that you could do a pocket mine version. Uh, so if you build up a pocket mine server, then I could connect. Uh, I could see it on a network at least, but I couldn't connect in the um, in the Minecraft client on my Android device. So my kids were nagging me and 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 were asking me when that server would be finished. Um, but I couldn't tell. I didn't know. So now there, I found out that there's uh, a version of Minecraft, which is called Bedrock, the Bedrock Edition. And that's uh, basically multi-platform. So I could connect from my Android device uh, or could connect from uh, an iOS device towards that server. So, I mean, that would be great to have. My kids could play on it, uh, even if one of them is not online or myself is not online. Um, so yeah. I had to put up a bedrock server. Now, uh, if we're going to start with that, um, then you need Docker for it. So you need Docker to run the um, one of the of the um, of the images that you can uh, download for free. Now, the the point is that not all Synology disk stations have Docker because Docker is uh, um, um, is kind of intensive for the processor for your processing power. Uh, so you need um, not uh, a beginning version of uh, a J version of the Synology. So basically, um, I'm now working with a 218 plus, um, and, and that that's working fine with Docker. You can just download it from the official store. Uh, so you can uh, go into Package Center and, and download Docker. The uh, fun part is that in Docker you can just uh, you could spin up all sorts of images. Uh, if it's Microsoft. If it's uh, Linux, um, whatever, you can spin up everything in there, which is available as a server. So, but also Minecraft. Okay, well, let's give it a try. I've got a couple of minutes. Uh, I did the talking. Uh, let's now try to see what we need to do. So, in order to start up, um, you start Docker. So, I just click this one down. You're going to start Docker just from the beginning on. Um, now you see that there's one um, container already running, so I've already installed uh, the pocket mine version. Uh, I will not shut it down because my kids can't play. Um, but nevertheless, if you go to registry, um, it will load and it will give you all sorts of images. Now basically Docker is a virtual, like some sort of a virtual machine, so you can actually run machines on your Synology. Um, well, that's great if we want like to uh, to run a, um, a PHP or a Bedrock or a Java sort of server. Um, now, the Bedrock server that we need uh, is is in here as well. So uh, first, let me show you the uh, if you just type in here the Minecraft uh, and then do the search button, you can see that there's all kinds of servers popping up, uh, and those are not the um, those are not necessarily the official versions of, uh, of Minecraft, but these are all the builds that are uh, out in the wild and you can download on your Synology. Now, the point was that um, uh, this was what I started looking at the first, um, but couldn't get it running properly on the Android devices. Then I found out that if I just had a uh, pocket mine, there are a couple of versions on there as well. So there's a couple of versions of Pocket Mine on the um, on the Synology the Docker builds. 
Now, at first, I started with the um, uh, with the pocket mine version that's up here. Uh, so that's the most well got a high ranking. It has 11 stars out of a lot. As you can see, the um, Minecraft. I just clicked in Minecraft, and the other version has got 600 plus uh, stars. But the problem is that um, I've tried the majority of those, and which which would run without any configuration or me doing a lot of extra configuration on it and that was none because I could I could see on my Android device I could see the server running but I couldn't connect to it so it was unable to log in um, and in Minecraft itself the ter the server turned red so Minecraft itself couldn't see it but the, the little ping application that I have could actually see the server now I would advise you to just go with Magical Yak, um, that the fifth down here, Magical Yak Pocket Mine. It's the Pocket Mine Docker image. Um, that's the version that I cur have currently installed. I mean, it, it gives you just a normal um, Minecraft world, and you can just set everything up. If you just click the uh, the little blue arrow behind it, you're gonna go to the and you can see that right here, that's the Docker Hub. You can see all the, the documentation that the um, creator of it, the owner of it, um, actually put down. So this is where you normally start it. This is not uh, specifically written for the Synology, uh, but there are some things in there that could be very interesting. I will show you later on. Now, let's get back to the Synology itself. So uh, we have a pocket mine. So normally you click, you select it, and you click download. I won't do that at this point in time because I already have it. So I already have the Magic React, and you can see that I've tried a couple more. Um, so what you're going to do if if it's complete and downloaded, and it's it normally it starts downloading, and you can see it over here, and there will be a pop-up message uh, from the Synology itself the, telling you when it's uh, it's 100% complete. Um, so in this case. The uh, Pocket Mine Magical Yak Edition, I'm going to click it and I'm going to click Launch. Uh, and that's where you actually keep create a container. So you need a container which is basically the virtual machine on your Synology. So what we previously did is only download the software in the registry, and that's the image. And from the image, we're going to build the container. Now, um, you can name it whatever you like. So I would just call it Pocket Mine 2 or I would call it Test. Uh, oh, test edition. Yep. Um, and now we'll dive into the advanced settings because that's the interesting part. Now you can um, you can just click everything you like here. I just leave it as is, as default as possible. Go into volume. Don't put in a volume. All the other images, you uh, the majority of the times you need to put in a volume. For Magical Yak, and I've tested it now a couple of times. I've reset my Synology disk station, just restart it and see what happens. And every time I got all my um, settings and my complete world, I got it back. The only part is that when you restart your um, virtual container with Magical Yak, or you restart your Synology, it restarts, it starts running. But you're not an operator anymore, so you need to enable the operator or the cheats or whatever you like. I will show you that in a sec. Uh, but we just leave this as is. Then going into the network, you don't do anything, it works as a bridge. I'm not going to use the uh, same network as the Docker host because I have multiple containers, so I couldn't do only one host. Um, so I really need to have that um, bridge functionality in there. Then my port settings, well, this is something interesting because you can play around with it. So you can see that the standard container port on which Minecraft starts is 19.132. Um, so you can leave it on auto if you, if you like, or you can put down that um, I want it at 20.132. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because the container that I'm using from my previous build is also this same container port. So I'm now creating a local port, a different local port, so that I can easily play it. And I won't have uh, have um, um, a second port with the same range because it, it won't allow me to do it. Uh, I leave it on the UDP, that's it. 
um, I don't create any links uh, and in the environment everything's already set in here so I don't need to do anything then I'm going to click apply uh, okay I click next uh, run this container after the widgets finished here we go In the image screen you won't see anything if you go to the container screen you can see that my pocket mine test is running it's starting up right now I'm going to click it I'm going to click details um, and then I'm going to see all the details with regards to this container I can see the CPU and RAM usage I can see the environment you can see that th this is the uh, the actual things that you set in the advanced settings you can see the port, the container port, and the local port, and the uh, volume links for the network. Don't need to do anything with it. You can see the logging, so you can see that it's actually, actually trying to start. Um, and that's for every service the case. Um, you can see that they're trying to run all the like resource packs and all the uh, the drawings, PNGs, or whatever. So it's running everything right now gonna check this one. Oh. Uh, oh, here we go. It's a little bit smaller. You can refresh it. Oh, nothing happens at the minute. Um, and then you can actually see the terminal. Um, and in the terminal, I mean, this is the screen that you normally get. You can't do anything with it. If you type in a question mark, oh, my keyboard is wrong as well. Great. Hang on. Should be. Yeah. So if you type a question mark, you can actually see that it's giving you output. So you can do, uh, you can make it always daytime. For example, in game, you can allow cheats, true or false. You can change the difficulties. You can clear any players or whatsoever. Now, make sure that if you, if you type these sorts of things, that you just type in as it is so uh, change setting and i will allow cheats and i will have that true so i'm i'm allowing cheats right now and that's actually it so basically i have now uh, i've 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 have set up uh, a container with a bedrock server edition it seems to run it's not a boarding or anything i've uh, allow cheats in game so now let's just check if it's actually running yes or no 